This right here is my 45. You remember this guy? Tommy Jordan. He's the frustrated dad who shot his daughter's laptop after she posted vulgar and embarrassing remarks on her Facebook page about her parents. Next time I have to pour a cup of coffee, I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna hate to see the day when you get too old to wipe your and you call me asking for help. Your mom told me to be sure I put one in there for her, so that one's from her. He's just a country boy from Albemarle, North Carolina. But it turns out that 70% of American parents agree with how he handled the situation. Parents are tired of being pushed around by their kids and the politically correct media. Tommy says it's time we take the reins back from our kids. Parents today are torn between, I want to be my kid's best friend and I want to be my kid's parent. You have one responsibility, turn that child into a fully functioning, responsible, mature, able to care for themselves adult. That's right. End of story. Why would you give your kid access to the net when you don't know what can happen and walk away? It's like giving them a gun, loading it, taking the safety off, pulling the hair back and going here, and then you leave the room. Absolutely. It's dangerous. Being famous gave me the leverage to get the world's best parental software company to drop their prices. Tommy says there's still dangers that lurk on the internet. And even though his video may have gotten a little out of hand, his family is starting to feel some positive effects from the situation that the you know, her, her and I have talked, and me and her mom have talked, and me and her stepmom have talked, and you we've all, there's been a lot of communication since all, all of this started. I guess me and my family talk more mm -hmm. since all of this. I'll get along better. What this story has shown is how an average man can reach 33 million people on an important issue facing American parents today through today's social media. In Albemarle, I'm Ron Waller reporting for the Connecticut School of Broadcasting.